So we see a lot of patients that have had long-term headaches. I mean, for a lot, of, a lot of those patients are for decades. And going to the dentist is kind of the last thing they, they think about as a solution. So most of those patients have seen neurologists, they've been on tons of medications, they've been to chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncture, they've done about everything they can. They're, most of them are really in this point of desperation. And the, the reason they don't think of a, as a dentist as a possible solution is they don't really um, understand how headaches work. And really most headaches are muscle-based headaches, which are external, outside of the brain. And um, when you start talking about why those muscles are out of balance, it ties back into the upper jaw being underdeveloped. When the upper jaw is underdeveloped, it forces the lower jaw to fit within a smaller upper jaw. The muscles then have to work extra hard to get your, uh, your jaw back so that the lower jaw can fit within the upper jaw. So it's a muscle fatigue, muscle cramping, uh, muscle exhaustion kind of uh, problem. The um, results are chronic headaches and the headaches can be, you know, temporalis headaches, um, but also uh, tying back to the small upper jaw means a small airway most of the time, which is then will lead to a head forward posture. So as the head goes forward, it gets heavier. So the muscles of the neck and the shoulders have to hold up this heavier head. So you'll get a lot of occipital back of the head kind of headaches as well. So the way we really look at treating headaches is going back to the source of the problem, which is a small upper jaw. So once we have determined that, we focus on the upper jaw and um, get the lower jaw to come forward, open up the airway, the head, the head goes back up on top of the body and the muscles that were fatigued are now at rest. Every time a person swallows, which is two to 3,000 times a day, the, the teeth have to fit together. And if they don't fit together very well, the muscles are working extra hard to get them to come together two to 3,000 times a day, which is, is in turn a chronic headache. And there's, you know, there's 19 to 20 muscles that are associated with the bite. So it's not just one muscle. We, f we focus on the temporalis muscle because it's a muscle we can measure but there's a lot of muscles involved with that. A bunch of those muscles connect to the bones of the eye socket. So you'll hear patients commonly complain about headaches that, are, that feel like they're behind their eyes. And really it's, it's muscle tension that leads to bone tension or cranial tension. And then that gives that, that perception of a headache behind the eyes. And it's all about that upper jaw. Like, so it's really interesting that that is central. If your upper jaw is out of balance and underdeveloped, the rest of your head and neck system has to try to accommodate this problem. And the symptoms can be all kinds of things, headaches, TMJ, sleep apnea, postural problems. Um, it just kind of cascades from there. And, and you'll have people that have facial pain and they'll have people that have headaches. The source of the problem can be the same. So common treatments for headaches are almost all symptom-based treatments, primarily medications. Um, so the neurologists treat with medication and that's the, none of that really addresses the source of the problem, which is an imbalance of the, the upper jaw, the lower jaw and the muscles and that, that whole system. So the, the medications treat symptoms. Even if you jump into things like massage therapy and acupuncture, physical therapy, you'll get a therapeutic kind of effect. So the headaches will be better for a short amount of time but the source of the problem that's causing the muscle contraction is still there. So those are really therapeutic, short-term relief kind of solutions. When you start talking about rehabilitation, which is really correcting the source of the problem, then the, the stimulus goes away. So you no longer have to treat symptoms because the symptoms follow the source.